what's going on guys welcome back to another custom video tactics uh, hope you're having a good day and this one we have the good old 4231 this is back let's see yeah, uh, I guess it was like on Sunday so that I was playing the weekend league and I was I just couldn't get through um, I just couldn't do anything in the game, even scoping it. I was just like, okay, uh, let's just change. There's definitely something wrong. It's definitely something I couldn't do. I knew it was, I had good formation, but just, I just couldn't get through it with that squad against those uh, strong squad out there. Because, you know, I'm not having a crazy squad, just completely average squad nothing fancy so I decided to change to one of the best formation in the history of FIFA which is 4-2-3-1 uh, and man you may not believe me I got 8 consecutive wins in the weekend league I was like 5-1 and I made it 9-5 uh, with this formation you may not believe me but trust me I got it. I wish I recorded that one, but I, sh I didn't. So let's see, let's see how it is. So, defensive side, we have it on balance with 40, depth, 65. Okay. The key thing here is the width on 40, which I recently realized having the width on 40, not even going above 40, but having it on 40, trust me, man. See these lines between defenders here? Let's see the lines in between your CDMs, between your uh, left back and your CDM here. It narrows it down. It kind of uh, those crazy through balls. I know a lot of you guys uh, can see goals like that. I'm, I can see goals on through balls very, like this is my weak point, through balls very hard to defend especially in this FIFA or FC but I used the 40 width and it really like closed those passing lane cut those passing lane and it was so effective and having the depth on 65 nothing okay 40 60 uh, it's kind of those balance you have that uh, relief okay I have low width uh, between my defenders the gaps is lower but I also have uh, kind of a, the offensive side uh, sorry the defensive side you might think okay I am too uh, kind of far away from the penalty area it's not like that it's not, again if it was like two months ago you know, a month ago it's close to 71 depth but the 71 depth has been nerfed but right now any formation 60 to 65 it, I have 5 to 1 2, I have that one on 6 5 2. So, this is kind of a, the balanced one, the uh, all formation, I believe that's the case now. So, 40 64. Again, try this out if you didn't work with If you felt like okay, I want to go on 75 71, go on 71. If you thought width 40 is too low or even too high, you I've, I've done 32 33 too low but having the you know, 40 was optimal for me but if you can you can go up to 50 if you want but don't go above 50 that's just too attacking and you want to be a balanced formation and first build up play okay I know balance direct passing most of formation most of you guys saw it um, this one please go on long ball Four turns, okay. Lumber four turns because look, in the structure you have you have left wing back. These are these are cam. These are in cam. You know, these are wingers in here. Sun and Futre. I have them, I have them here. These guys, uh, they are on, but they are uh, balanced. And we come back on defense and they stick the position. Uh, it's not like they're just wide or just free roam on the desk to position. They are ready to go to the penalty or go into those wings. They are not purely wingers, they're kind of wingers, uh, but not like the LW, like 
uh, left wing and right wing and like the 4 3 3 ones. These are like kind of a, having a combination of like right cam and left cam, but uh, they go down the wing a lot. That's why I said they're wingers. But they do around these areas, like you can see here uh, the, the space between Rosicki and Filtrade. These areas, they, those guys hang around here most of the time. But they go down the wing too. So if you have it on a long ball, so long ball basically is getting behind. You don't have this option in here, okay? There is an option, no getting behind in here, okay? Getting behind means long ball. So you don't have getting behind, put them on long ball, you have the option. You need to have make those run. There's a lot of there's gaps between defenders and they will make those run through them. And trust me, this is amazing. I don't know. I never I don't even know it was post-patch. Or anything, it worked so well for me. And so, long ball forward runs, long ball direct passing. Um, you can try direct passing if it work for you, but I just say it forward run. Direct passing is have to, it's just a lot of passing. The players are close to each other when you have direct passing. When you have forward runs, you just wanna go down the wing, just making those crazy runs and like a lot pass to them through ball. You can make it. You can just make those run easily, especially if um, you can do it with your left back and right back too. If you have used the long trigger, trigger your left back to the wingers, and with your right wingers, you trigger the le your right your right back. And you can make great passes, cut back, crazy goals, easy goals. So try. I recommend forward run long ball with. Um, okay, 50. Honestly, you can go 40 to 50. It's just personal preference. You can't go 50, but I recommend 40 to 50. But you can go 45, 44, even 47. Again, it just depends on how you want it. I just say uh, 50 is just not so because you already have. It's not like you, you, when you have wingers, and uh, you don't want to have so much width because you have a lot of gaps in, in the middle part of the area. So when you have left wing and right wings, you automatically create those space between your camp and left and wingers. So 50 is up. Don't go like 60, 70, man. You're gonna can see like easy that way you can't even do something to just place it like far ahead from you you want to close not too close so 50 is the one to go place in the box six or seven again place in the box corners and free kicks however you want but place in the box i recommend anything below uh, above five is up to because again you you have one forward don't you you have to do lots of crosses and lots of cutbacks like Going down the wings, pass to outside, score. So you have you want to have lots of plays in your in the opponent's penalty box. If you think you can get counter attack very easily, you can defend. You just put them on three or four. Okay, personal preference. I always say it, man. But I have it on seven. Instruction. I have my strikers say central, get them behind and say forward. Again. If you think you can, this is like too much, put this on comeback and defense, okay? Or even basics. Uh, but definitely want it. you want your circle on the center, you want to run uh, down the way, you, want, you don't want to come back to the uh, even behind, it's like so very far away from the penalty area. Sit central and get them behind to make those runs. Trust me, these were key, but Defensive server, you can put them on come back on defense if you want. Okay, so um, safe forward is the one to go for me. For the cam, I have safe forward, get into the best. Okay, you you don't want again, you can put them on come back on defense if you want. I find it comfortable having them on safe forward, but if you want, you can put them on balance too. Again, try it in the game, see how it fits you. Don't be afraid to change your tactics while you're playing the game. There's a lot of guys. Uh, they don't even change what they have in it, like, like they don't change the net formation, the tactics, to the I change the tactics a lot of time throughout the game, I put up, for example, when I wanna 
I'm with two one down, two one up, and so mid at eighty. I put all of these guys on combat conditions. I put my strikers, put my cam, my left finger rabbit are are already on combat conditions. So I put these two on combat conditions. So change your playstyle. You're playing against numerous players. Each each one of them have like you playing five to one, four three three. You playing against four, five for one against again four triple two. All these formations, you have to adapt yourself to that formation. So just want to say forward, get into the box. Get into the box is a must. You want them to be in the box. You want them to be attacking. You want to have players in the penalty area. And come back on defense for my right wing. And the thing again, you can don't put this one on the civil. Don't not on the civil. You, if you put them on comeback on defense, they're going about like the behind like where your CDM like Gaia Tore and Haji look at my CDM. These areas here, then they're gonna be like defending and making headers. No, we're gonna go like the, the middle part of the pitch. And it's really, you can then trigger them to forward. It would really help but again if you think this is too decent too defensive put them on balance but i recommend come back on defense um you can't put these guys on getting to the box but these are your winger you you sometimes you want them down the way sometimes you want them to make those runs uh you mean okay i want like i want human son i want him to make those runs but he said okay he's in the penalty area he's in the box so why is he there you want him to be down the wing like Next corner kicks those areas. If you put them on balance, you have that kind of balance throughout the game. But if you put them on get in, get into the box, um, you know, be again. But it worked well for me. Use get into the box. Try it out. If you think it works for you, just try get into the box. Okay. Same goes for the right wing. Okay. Two CDMs. Preferably one of them more attacking, one of them completely defensively. How passing and get into the box and cover since for both of them you can put the more attacking one on um, balance or even get forward. Again, if you're good at defending, get forward. I'd recommend stay back while attacking, trigger them with your this one. I won't trigger to make them go forward, but on the default side you have them on save up while tanking that's more effective in my opinion use balance or get forward see how it goes then make the make your own tactics make your own formation left back and right back the two cd uh, the two center backs obviously on um, balance but your left back save up while attacking same goes to the right back you can't put these guys on Balance the run type kind of overlap kind of nerfed in the recent patches, but again, I still find overlap is quite useful this formation. And your goalkeeper, you can super keeper. Doesn't really matter. It, I don't see a difference between these two men. So if you want to use console crosses, super keeper. If you want to, I don't see the point. If you want, so yeah. And that was the 4 2 3 1. Try this formation. Tell me what you think. Write down in the comment section. If you if tell me it's flaws, tell me if it's even useful, if it even worked for you guys. Tell me how was it like useful or if it was bad, it was it didn't work. Tell me how, what was the problem. Whether you can't defend, you can't um, attack with this. I will make those uh, adjustments and then I'll tell you what's best for you. Again. Okay. Play styles is different again. Out of all these plays you have uh, in this fifth FC Twitter for it all comes back to how you play it. Okay, you might have Osebio, Zaydan, whole completely squad out of team of the year and still lose the game to a gold players because you don't know the basics, you don't you don't know the mechanics. That's what matters. Okay, focus on the mechanics and trust me. You don't need crazy scouts to get wins to get. You, I know. Look at these pro players. I know they have great squad like crazy Mbappe, Xavier, and all that problem. But again, they 
use the basics and they use them very well they um, pay attention to every kind of details in this game of on trigger uh, show passes through balls all of it you have to be conscious don't get mad immediately even if you can see two goals stick to the game change, make some minor detail even make a substitution if you want it and you can get the swing hope you're having a good day and I hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. See you soon.